I actually don't remember if I mentioned this last episode or not, but the uh, the reason I know about this game in the first place is because of the YouTube channel Ragnar Rocks. Like Ragnar Rocks. R-O-X. I'm trying to remember if there's one R or two R's in the middle between the two parts of the world. Whatever. Uh, also, I'm noticing this, this neat detail where, like, the... On the screen here, you can see, like, the dustiness and the grodiness of the screen. It's like, there's a bunch of little X's everywhere. It's such a weird visual where, like, I... I Back in the day, I played Lone Survivor, which was riffing on Silent Hill. And it had, like, a weird quilt-looking appearance to the whole game. And I'm like, why is the game weird? Like, it looks like a bunch of big blocks, like you see in pixel art. But each block has a texture within the block. And I was like, what is that? Why... It's a really specific appearance, and then I went back and played Silent Hill 1, uh, I guess three years ago, because I've been playing a Silent Hill game every every year, and we just hit 4, and uh, it had that sort of appearance, this weird quilt, and that was the PS1 game in that series, and here we are back on the PS1, and you, once again you see this weird, I don't know how apparent this is on your guys' screen, but on mine it's, I can definitely see it, where it's like, there's just a bunch of little, like, gray-brown X's across the whole screen. Like, it's just a solid grid. It's really interesting. I'm, I'm curious about that kind of part of the PlayStation and why it looks that way. Oh, and it goes away when you, when you unpause. Specifically when you pause, I guess maybe because of the slight difference in brightness, all those X's become more apparent and they kind of go away again. Huh. It's weird. It's a different time. And now it's just a grid of dots, which is different from the grid of X's curious like they must have individually like not individ individually i've been playing they individually programmed every x no i mean like they must have like that must this must be intentional and it must have been like a probably like a stippling effect i'm thinking like these are japanese games and i'm thinking of like manga and like how they use those kinds of dots and so on to imply shading when they're stuck using entirely binary color systems where they can't really use grays they just have black and white but you can make something feel like it's gray or an in-between shade by doing different layers of densities of stippling and line and so on and so i'm kind of wondering if they intentionally added that kind of art stuff into some of these older video games and they have the advantage of the fact that it was on older tvs so the tv would actually blend that for them like a blend tool would and make that stuff less visible it's like we're seeing these games on modern displays kind of causes them to show some of their tricks sometimes <clears throat> like watching an older movie in brilliant hd and suddenly you can see way too much compared to what you could before all right so we wrote we read a note about the sea the boat on the endless sea and here we are now on the boat the endless sea it still says i'm richard osmond it's like am i still the i'm still, am I still the same person that went to it's it's sunny out Am I still the same person who went in, into that house, then? Does that mean that I'm canonically visiting somehow via the book and then also getting imprisoned while I'm here? How does that work? What's this? In one move. There's a switch. There's a button, but I can't press it. What? <laughs> Uh, that's cute. I, you, I, I just don't expect the game to be that interactive, if you know what I mean. Like, it's a PS1 game. I, I mean, I, I figure everything's really stilted and static, and it exists in that one place, and that's it. But, like, little stuff like that, I'm like, what is this? Because, like, I, I feel like I basically, like... There was like block puzzles sometimes, like really really obvious, like God of War and The Legend of Zelda style. This box gets pushed around very slowly in a very fixed area sort of interactions, but it was pretty. It was probably Half-Life 2 was probably the first time I really was like, wow, look at this physics sandbox. And I'm sure this isn't anywhere near that, but it's, it is surprising to walk up to something and try to click on it and be like, you just picked up a whole chair. I'm like, huh? On a PS1 game? There's something in the way. I can't open it. Because you, you just don't expect that to be like a thing that's going to happen. Hello. This is a bit of an escape room game, isn't it? We'll see. Curing potion. It's, I guess it's like a cure-all? They, they do not specify. 
just get used to every time I try to look up or down, I like look the wrong way first, then adjust, because I'll never be able to keep straight whether left or right is up or down. There's a wooden desk. And you see me pausing here is because I'm trying to press X on it, but I guess X is interact and triangle is look at. Those lead to different results. Although our character doesn't have that much, that much to say about a lot of these things. You observe things and he's like, that's a desk. That's a bed. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for the translation in case I don't know what those are, I guess. There's a coffee table. Can you pick up the coffee table? <clears throat> Get down here. I don't know if I can necessarily pick up the coffee table. But it is worth remembering that I can crouch. Can I go under the... D nope. That'd be really cool, actually, if they hit something. Do I get up in two stages? Ah. Huh. The detail there. You start, your head tilts downward when you start getting up, because that's like the starting part of standing up. There's some, there's some good details here. It would be kind of cool if I could crouch under that desk and then like find like a switch under it somewhere. Good use of first-person mechanics that at least I wasn't used to encountering. I feel like first-person games as a concept didn't really come up very much during this era for me, because I wasn't playing PC games. There's a leather sofa. On my Italian leather sofa. Is that a mirror? Mate? If, it, if it's meant to be a mirror, then only that one makes sense. No, neither of them match. So the room is shaped like that with that one divot by it and the door. That divot and that door. But that should be on the left side of the screen, not the right side, because it's a mirror. These appear to just be a photos of this room, or one like it, that doesn't have any... Uh, any furniture. Or maybe a window of the next room? Maybe? But neither of these perspectives would be would actually be correct if they either of them were supposed to be mirrors. So they might just be windows into the next room that don't necessarily have the right perspective, but are just implying there's more rooms. I don't know. PS1 game. It won't move. If I was to be honest, I don't know if you could even make out what was in that in those mirrors on an original screen. Oh, this one opens. Was there anything left to investigate in that room? Oh. Um. Oh. Uh. It's the light. They're not fond of light. I must fight the power that lurks within this ship. It is my destiny. I will come for you once this ordeal is over with. Stay here until then. You mustn't go down there. Is that understood, Richard? Richard! What am I thinking of? So we're out on the boat. Ghost girl attacked me, threw me, did damage to me, so now I know what damage looks like. So my condition was great before, right? Now it's good. I guess a little there's like a little diamond in the top corner of the screen that drains when I take damage. So I need to find sources of light and turn them on or Ghost Girl will apparently attack me. And that's not good. If I ever die, it might be agony because the uh, you do move pretty slowly in this game. So having to replay a section would be rough, especially since I've never found a save point yet. Oh shit, don't do that. That's a light switch. That's what those look like. I would like to find a save point. I'm about to die, aren't I? Light switch, light switch, light switch. Huh. Huh. Use box. I said caution something. Captain's cabin, pilot house, chart room compartment. So I guess the power only works in one part of the ship at a time because we have like a piece of wire instead of a real fuse. Caution, high voltage. 
Do I have like gloves on or something to not die when I touch that? Because it doesn't look safe. So right now the captain's cabin is safe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The light won't turn on. I'm out. We'll be back later. <laughs> After I fix the fuse or whatever. Not doing that. Okay. Let's try this room. Please, 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 please. Okay. Thank you. I'm now on the other side of the ship. Being able to see outside helps us a bit. Orienting ourselves. I can go upstairs here. So I think I've stayed downstairs on both sides, right? So I haven't, I haven't been upstairs yet. I'm back where I started. I have a red book and a curing potion. It's very well lit in this room. Oh, I can go back out here. Or have I been here before? There's a bed. Wait, I thought that's the door I came from when I came in. Oh, maybe I came from that door? Oh, there's a bathroom. Oh, there's a bedroom and a bathroom in here. How did I get in the room in the first place? I guess the door I just came in through a moment ago. In my head, I thought it was locked for some reason. Maybe it was at some point. I don't know. It won't move. There's plenty looking around to do still. Is that a little trap door? Or is, the, or is that just what the whole... That's what everything looks like. That's what everything looks like. Okay. There's a bed. Another book. This is a leather organizer. We're organizing all of my leather. Oh. The doors are locked together with a thick wire. The wire's wrapped around too tight. I need to cut it in order to get inside. I don't really have much, right? No. Hmm. Well, if I, uh, if I cut that, maybe I can use the wire on the fuse to fully fuse the place up without having to lose any of it. Oh, that's a little hard to read. Marvin Foremast. The policeman that is investigating my father's house. Frank Keelson. Oh no, the locomotive guy. The officer aboard the train that cautioned me to sit down. He's dead. Henry Osmond. He's my father, right? The youth's name was the same as my father's. Yeah, so that guy on the that guy on the train was our dad. That seemed relatively straightforward by the end of it. He was chasing something the old man possessed. He handed a strange blue stone to a little girl named Kriya. Is she the ghost that's attacking me? William Rockwell seems to be the villain. He was accompanied by a child. They were traveling together. He used his granddaughter for a shield as he shot the youth. He had a strange knife in his possession. Freya. She was terrified of her own grandfather. She took a strange blue stone from the wounded youth. Greg Capston? Upper deck captain's cabin. He appeared suddenly and told me to follow him. He departs after warning me not to leave the room. That's about right, telling me not to leave. Yeah, my, my father suppo uh, went, or at least wanted to get to this boat, seemingly, and then the boat went missing. And now I'm here, so that boat's poorly. There is a bed. I keep wanting to click on beds to find out, like, does the bed let me sleep? <laughs> is there a sleeping mechanic that allows me to save, maybe? Probably a broken record a little bit, but 45 minutes into a game, you're like, Okay, please, though, can I save? I don't want to start the whole thing over. Now, we've, we've officially established there's a health bar. There's a tub and a toilet. Oh. I was about to say, and an oil spill, but it's a, that's a rug. Common mistake. There's a mirror. 
Despite everything, it's still you. This is some A-plus uh, narration from this guy. You can't flush the toilet. You can open it and then it closes. On its own. That didn't seem to do anything. Oh wait. Bip, 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 bip. I haven't technically tried this switch yet, but none of them have worked so far. And it won't move. I imagine those are the light switches for whenever the lights are out. But I haven't had to turn them on so far. Not much else going on in here. Our, our hanging question is that this can't open. I also got a leather organizer. I don't know where that went. Maybe that's where my notes came from. Maybe I didn't have my notes menu until I got the leather organizer. Leather organizer. Leather organizer definitely makes it sound like it's organizing leather. Is it dark up here? Yes. We must be very careful. Hey, spooky ghost. Am I going to be in danger when I try to talk to you? You're the guy that's, that... Is that the youth? I should never have gotten aboard this ship. I promised her that I would return one day. I should have just stayed by her side. I wonder how she's doing now. Uh... What? It still says Richard Osmond. But am, am I am I that guy? Soda fountain. Definitely seems like we're witnessing his regrets. It's probably too late. He's departing in the morning. Voice acting's gone again. Cough, cough. <laughs> it's our last night together, and I lost my engagement ring. Where could have I dropped it? I can't see clearly anymore. Because you're sick or because you're crying? We're both. I guess I'll look for her engagement ring. I was not expecting the Inception thing to happen where we're two layers deep into the dream world now. Or whatever you want to call this. Whatever's going on. Oh, that's him. We set sail in the morning. I won't be able to see her for a while. She's late. I wonder what she's doing. Looking for an engagement ring. So that's the same character as far as I can tell. But he has voice acting on the boat, but not here. So far only the boat has voice acting and nowhere else does. I wonder why. Just gonna look around for an engagement ring. Because I'm a good person. Or so I tell myself sometimes. Well, this side seems pretty... Oh. Okay. Now my feet make creepy noises. Shiny? Is that real? Hey! I actually found it. 
the glimmer. I think the low res kind of helped because as I was moving, the edges were glimmering. Thank you, aliasing. Can I get on a boat or horse merry-go-round? Why is this so menacing? <laughs> That's probably not good. Let's watch out for ghosts. Is there a run faster button? I don't think there is. Because in situations like that, I want one. Well, good news. Turns out I'm the best. Oh, this is it. Now I can go see him. It's time. I'll come back home. I promise. Christina. No! <laughs> it wasn't in time. It wasn't worth waiting for the ring. I was too late. I'm sorry, but may I ask for a favor? If, by chance, you see that person again, please give him this. I know I shouldn't ask a stranger for such a thing, but please. <clears throat> I'm a time traveler! I'm like traveling back in time again to then satisfy the regrets of another- like, although this doesn't really fix much. Oh my god, how could I have forgotten about her? Forgive me, Christina. Thank you for telling me. I will go to her now. Oh. An astral piece. Is that in, yeah, it's in here now. Do I get more context over here? An object left behind by a soul. Hexagons! Yeah. Can I turn the light on before I get attacked? Thank you. Could I have turned the light on while he was here and like banished him via light? I can kind of see that being like the less satisfying outcome, like you just banish him instead of helping him. And then he's out of your way or whatever. Hmm. Is there anyone in this hallway? No. They spooked me with that kid, but she hasn't shown up again yet. I don't know how much of a threat she is. I just know I don't want to die. Okay, the bridge has working power. Whew. America. There are 35 stars on this flag. We're missing about 15. Hello. A metal handle. 
Maybe I can use that on the thing I can't open? This is a sturdy looking desk. <laughs> the descriptions. Ooh. Curing potion. Do those heal me when I take damage, maybe? Or is it curing an ailment? I guess damage is an ailment. A picture of a sun is carved into the relief. I wonder if it has a meaning. Where the lion eats the sun, blah blah blah. <laughs> no, please. Not again. Oh god, I'm even on a boat. The national flag is hung on the wall. Should I be concerned? There's a steering wheel for the boat. Dare I? <laughs> a compass up top. There is a compass. The ship seems to be heading due south. What is this device? I think it's a communication device? There's a machine of some sort. Wow, thanks. You really answered my questions, bro. I guess this is the other out-facing door, so I've already been there. How about you? There's no handle to grab. I can't open it. Well, have I got a surprise for you. Don't even need screws. Oh. I was wondering what use a trap door to the previous floor could be if I've already been there before, but that's not what this is. Ah, oh, a map. That can help me out, because famously, like in the Return of the Oberdin, I'm not good at knowing what to call ship things. <laughs> Both people and places. So... Uh, I can't really highlight anywhere. Okay. I thought maybe it would help me name some places so I can tell like what they mean specifically since we have like the fuse box where you can light specific places so it's handy to be able to know what those places are anything in down here no it looks like it might open but it doesn't as far as I can tell What if there was like a maximum number of things you could have lit up before the fuse blows or something? I would find that somewhat concerning, to be honest. Okay, it's another regret boy. No attack girl is here. <laughs> those, are the those are the two types of people on the ship. Regret boy and attack girl. Oh, it's so dark. I locked the door. But she'll still come. Why? What? Ooh. Hey, get out of the way. Is that you? Would you like help with these boxes? There's a wooden box. I don't think I'm picking that up. You just put that one down. Do you want something? Oh, rubber gloves. 
I bet I need that for the fuse. Hey, what are you? W what the? What the hell? G get away from me. Don't come near me. Did my father give her an evil ghost gem that made her evil? Weird. Would you like these rubber gloves? Light. Someone. Give me light. That seems easy enough. Oh. Gotcha. This is one of the rooms I need the fuse in order to fix. Oh, and there's a phone in the room. Oh, save data. Hey, <laughs> finally. Wait, what do you mean all that space is used? It's a PlayStation 3. Oh, it has to like, it has to like emulate fake memory cards, doesn't it? How many fake memory cards can my PlayStation 3 have? I wonder what's the data that's on those things. Crash Bandicoot 1, I guess? I haven't played LSD yet. I only installed it. That could have been a candidate for this like I am right now, but I, I feel like I want another person with me for LSD. Just like with real LSD, you should probably have a second person in the room. 